Girl, they were talking about Shannon Sharp. Yes, let's get on that since we're in the fag department for real. We just jumped off of one fag. Now we that on the other week. You just said so I'm about to talk, since we're in the fag department, because this is what I want to address. Yeah, I do. Here's the final stop of the day. Two to one. Two to line. Started over there. My last stop of the day. We got up early, had a late night. We don't do excuses here. We just get the job done. This one we signed up for. Let's talk about it. What? Let me address the homosexuals first before we get into this. Let me address the real homosexuals that identify as homosexuals. Let me really address those. The homosexual. Y'all homosexuals work and work and work and work and work. And y'all got their other got hus got Shannon's style is fire. Y'all work and work and work and work. And worked on that motherfucking situation. And now that man has separated from that. From his stylist. Now he has a woman styling him. And she gave him this. When that homosexual was styling him. I didn't see him with no pocketbook like this. Right, right, right. He showed me. <laughs> Immerse. Immerse. With those pants. A cross bag. But listen. That man has a different type of coin. Men that possess a different type of coins. They'll dress like mediocre men. You see Odell Beckham Jr. has a different type of coin. He has a merce everywhere he goes. And that motherfucking um, Cam Le Newton. And LeBron James. Those girls have a different type of coin. And Dwayne uh, Wade. Those, those girls have a different type of coin. I'm not saying Dwayne is gay. I'm, I'm saying, saying that's my term or not. Those girls have right. a different type of coin. So, bitch, they step outside with a different type of wear, a different type of footy, a different type of. They have a different type of coin. But now he done hired this woman now, and it's his style now. Now she got him over there in that pocket, but maybe that was something that he decided he wanted to wear. Well, she <laughs> should have used her expertise and said, "No, sir, <laughs> we're not using that. We're not going to pair that with this with this leisure suit you have on." <laughs> Showing that body, those bow legs like that. Right. It looked like he came from Coles. <laughs> now, the streets had said he was given very much so Miss Netta. Craig. What? That's what the streets said. Craig. They said he was shaped up like Miss Netta. Craig, I'm going to tap you on your shoulder and say your affixation with Miss Netta. No, no. I'm telling you what the streets had said. I didn't say this. But you thought it. I agree. <laughs> oh my God. Girl, he still got you blocked. He ain't gonna see this. Oh, he'll see it. Trust. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, when I say y'all been whipping up these little clips from these from these fag talks. Girl, I was in the grocery store the other day, and this homosexual was like, Oh my god, I know who you are. You're the fag. Bro, well, the whole line turned around and looked at me. I was in there looking all disheveled and Girl, shit. using your food step card. I was using my food card. Don't be having these people looking at me while you're using your food step card. Right. It was the day after we came back from Nashville. We got, we got back from Nashville. And like, you had just got paid. Go right. <laughs> but you were using your food step card. Yes, and I'm in the food. Yes. And this homosexual was like, oh, my God. You know who you? I was like, oh, my God. Everybody in the line looked at me. I was like, girl, I'm in the Aldi's trying to get some produce, girl. Girl, that's I'm why in the you, all this. This is why you have to be like me, and you have to be like a mystery shop. Right. You have to see your mystery shoppers out. Oh my god, Girl, honey, you really are really gonna run into me nowadays. Oh my god, unless you run into me, and you are really, I, 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 I really, really rarely run into me unless I'm in the airport. But girl, here's my thing. I don't know what Shannon Sharp identity is to himself. Mm -hmm. except for what he tells us. He tells us that he identifies as a he heterosexual man, and I'm all right with it. If that's his identity, that's just what his identity is. And at the beginning, middle, and end of the day, clothes, again, are a social construct. You have trained your boys that they can't wear pink. Mm -hmm. You have trained your girls that blue is masculine. You have trained all of this. this, is, this all of this is a social construct. So, And him wearing a bag. Now, because we are still mentally conditioned by the social construct of course we see him get out the car like he did with his bag and step out like he had on one heel and one <laughs> lash girl a little, a little kitten heel. he had on the kitten heel he's the way he was standing back of course we're gonna give that it gives very zesty of but course this is what it's gonna look like because this is what we've con we've conditioned our minds into these thinkings and when he has spun around yes and girl gave that nasty wall He's bow-legged, parent-told, and pigeon-kneed at the same time. And he had a hip replacement. Yeah. 
So of course that walk is gonna be a nasty motherfucking state walk, be a nasty scripper with a good with some good pussy walk in the store. Yay. Where his little cross bag on. Yay. But we again, society, let's address it. Come on, Craig, with your HSBC, your degree. I'm listening. Let's address the social constructs of society. The social constructs of society consist of boys wear blue, girls wear pink, boys wear fake. Crop top uh, fades, high top fades, girls wear a weave. Girls wear lipstick, men's don't. Girls get their nails done and feet done. Men are to be ungroomed. This is a social construct. When you see a man come in the nail shop, even within myself, I have to de deconstruct this stuff from my mouth to unlearn this. When I see men are in the in the nail shop getting their nails done, like getting the, getting the cubicles and stuff done, getting their feet done and all this type of stuff, I used to be like, oh, that girl, where's she going? Ah! Now I don't get a I don't get a manicure. But Craig, you're gay. But see, this is the thing. <laughs> I do get a pedicure. Well, you're gay. But this is the thing, though. We have to un deconstruct this stuff from our thinking. We have right. to deconstruct this stuff from our thinking because when we start thinking, when we see these things, we we start to equating this to femi if femininity. So, if anything is femininity, this constitutes as homosexual. Because here's the thing: straight men are expected to be linear. And also expected to be dirty. And yet these women be talking about you, y'all hoes got these men out here not want to wipe in the crack of their ass right. because they think it's gay. And the thing is, men are straight men are expected to wear blue, black, brown, and gray. You're not supposed to have interest in the arts. You're not supposed to experiment with your hair, whether it's braids or color or whatever. Like those things don't make you gay. They don't. Yes. We are programmed. Somebody put in the comment down here. We're programmed. We're conditioned to start thinking these things. Exactly. Do I think that Shannon Sharp has a lot of feminine ways? Yes, I do. Do you? Bitch. You didn't see that stand outside that car? That girl, that gave very much so. Yes, girl. I'm going to go ahead and gather my books. Girl, that gave a man who had a couple hip replacements. It also gave a nasty stand. It also gave a yes, God, honey. It gave that. But. It gave that to me. Yes, God, honey. It did give. Yes, I'm going here to gather my coins up because these because the line around the building. But uh, I don't necessarily until somebody tells me what they are, I'm not going to be believe it until you tell me what you are. That's your decision. Well, that's my point about Miss Netta. She still ain't told us where she is. Miss Netta said that she's not a man. I mean, she's not a woman. She said she's not a woman. And, so but, she's a sir. I don't know that. I just know that because she has this, the prefix Miss. She's a woman. And the last part of her name says Netta. I'm going to refer. I'm going to use the pronouns they and them because she. No, that's she no, and her. No, because, because she told me on Fox So that she's not any of that on the little bit. Well, she, then she needs to remove but Miss. Re but then she responds to Joe. I think I've never. I've, well, then she need to remove Miss because in this society and around the world, Miss, Madame, all refers to she, her, and, and girl, and woman. Miss Thang. Sugar Plum. Miss Th Hey, girl, hey. <laughs> Mr. Mo, do you have anything that you'd like to say? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not going to say, because you thought that Miss Netta was the woman when you saw her. So, Mr. Just, Mo. Just by how, so, Mr. How, Mo. How, Mr. Mo. Mr. Mo. Mr. Jimmy Sheen. He, he is also the same one who left his clothes at home. So <laughs> He didn't see them. I because I was brushing. I was brushing. I was you brushing. know, you know, your assistant sent this for his messy cell. This is the moment when he realized he <laughs> we're not gonna blast more that hard. Okay. We gave him enough slashing. Friend had video of you when you had to tell Madison yeah, that you I left your clothes. Said, I had to tell her, and I told him. So again, Mr. Mo, let's get over here. To you. <laughs> let, let, let us chime in since you are the only heterosexual. Well, I'm the heterosexual transsexual. So mm -hmm. Since you're the other heterosexual. And I'm the only gay. In, in this room. So let's go. Well, I mean, the whole thing with Shannon, I mean, I, I, I see a lot of, I see a lot of, I will see a lot of I would say a lot of straight guys that dress similar to how he dresses. I, back, back. Excuse me, let's back this a lot of rich. Yeah. Rich. You mean rich. Yeah, because rich people, they spend their money different. They, you you they mean do. rich, straight guys? Yeah. I mean, people... Because you're not a rich, straight guy. I have never seen you with a purse. I, I don't... I wouldn't wear... A, a but purse. he does wear tight sweatpants. Because he got all that ass. Mm, all I that what? Wear tight sweatpants. He has all that ass. No, they of, are tight. 
My pants are tight. They're very form fitting. They're, they are. They are. They are. What do you call it? Form fitting. No, okay, but they. But they. They expand. Okay, what size are those? They expand because your yeah, ass you. moves. Well, then you My need to move. You, you need to move to the large. If I wear a large, I'm gonna be looking like a a grown three year old. Uh, what? Because when you wear big, okay, I'm all. I'm like. I'm like what five eight. If I wear big heavy, if I wear big clothes, I'm not. It's not gonna look good. Three year olds wear Osh. Oshkosh Bigosh. Yes, Bigosh. Oh, my goodness. You can't wear Oshkosh Bigosh because your ass is too big. Right. To get into. Big. You need to graduate to a large. An Oshkosh Bigosh. You, might, you probably, can wear, you probably can wear an ass cash Bigash. <laughs> I wear a regular. <laughs> I have a regular behind. I have a regular No, you behind. don't. Yes, I do. No, you it's do not. Regular. You have a you have a you have a Nigerian's ass. <laughs> because What's a Nigerian's ass? Most of the Nigerian men that I've seen from Nigeria, they have high boobs. Correct. <laughs> You know, I'm I'm mostly I'm mostly a Nigerian. I did my 23 and me. You're at what percent? 83 oh, percent. Okay. But Craig, you don't have a lot of you don't have a lot of ass. No, I don't. But it's high. <laughs> <laughs> to your point. So, so the great majority of Nigerian men that I've seen is like like King Spicy. He is very thick. He's Nigerian. I don't know if he's very thick. Oh, I, you don't Wait, have who to. Who is King Spicy? Oh, right here. <laughs> You know who got a nice ass is that Dante the body. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, Don't objectify that man, Maddie. I'm not objectified because he got body. He has body. <laughs> but while you're looking for that, I do want to say this about Shannon Sharp and a lot of the, the straight men that even African men wear, I mean, have those type of uh, mercy. A, a lot of a lot of a lot of straight men or a lot of men in entertainment have gay stylists. That's true. So we really gotta, you know. Y'all know who King Spicy is and Spicy Sue, your boys. I followed them and I followed them because you had made a full screen where they say, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I started following them and then they followed me back. <laughs> that Dante the body is. You don't see all this body, Greg. Look at all this body. Wait a minute. You're going to watch this body walk up here. You see this? God, me. Yeah, that one on the left can get it. Because you deserve to hear this and nothing else. You see that? You are amazing. You are that one on the left can get it. Do you see all that body? You see all them thick thighs, extra juice? Yes, indeed. I love a man with some thighs yeah, and booty. Did you see that right there? Look at that. <laughs> My God today. Really? God, listen. Really, baby. Ben, ben, ben boy. Ben, ben. Yeah, that one. You see all that? That's the one. Bitch, you put that shit in some motherfucker. goddamn Daisy Duke, some Hoochie Daddy shorts. It's up. I have mm -hmm. seen him in some hoochie daddy shoes. I've been like, golly. Mm -hmm. It ass so hot, look like it gonna melt. <laughs> I still want a little piece of Keith Lee. Girl, stop it, Craig. That see, that's why those other punks got bought over there. <laughs> no, 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 listen, I, I didn't say I was at the top of the show. Put my hand <laughs> just on talked it. about this at the top of the motherfucking show. Yeah, I didn't say I would that's put just my why the other him. punks got bought. I didn't say I would put because my of this on right him. here. That's what we talking just about. Looking. Yes, Keith Lee has a big ass, and he has and he has me in the front. I was like, damn. Hold up, Keith Lee. You going out to eat like that? Girl, you thought you said he, you thought he was. Craig, I also said I thought that he was. I thought he was 90 40. But because it gives very 90 40, I was like, mm, is it 90 40? Why y'all being messy? Is it 94? I squinted real hard. It was like, it's 9040. I think it's 9040. But you don't even care about you don't even care about booty anyway, though, man. So what I don't care about booty, but I so like I don't care about booty, but I have all the equipment if it needs to be worked on. <laughs> one of my one of my ex-husbands is watching. He just texts me. I, I, of course, I, I don't care about booty. However, if it any, if I have the equipment just in case it needs to be worked on. <laughs> you know what? Get off me. But, but, oh. <laughs> just in case it need an oil change, Ma I have the tools. Madison is a mattress. <laughs> just She's a pancake. Just in case. Oh. Just in case it needs to be worked on, mm -hmm. I have the tools. I am equipped to put the work in. 
just in case. Now, I come in the door needing the oil change all the time. <laughs> all that transmission fluid. I do it all the time. But just in case that, that, that it need to be, that there is a, that his oil pan needs to be shifted, I have the tool. Communication is our partner. Clarity is our friend. They're saying, what's 9040? <sighs> it's a proper way. 9040. There's a building that I used to work at back in the day. I used to work at <laughs> there's a group home. And the main building that took care of the group home was the 9040 building in Kendall. <laughs> For those of you out there that know me from Miami, Florida, y'all know where the 9040 building is in Kendall. 9040. The 9040 is the is the main building of the Haven Center. And what's the Haven Center? The Haven Center houses special needs. What kind of special needs? High functioning consumers. <laughs> <laughs> I think there are a few people that are watching this that still needs a little more clarity. If, if they Google, they're not... <laughs> what they need to do? If they Google. <laughs> Like they go Google everything fucking else. Right. Mm -hmm. I used to work at the 9040 building. Uh huh. No, I used to work at the Haven Center, which the 9040 building was was the main building mm -hmm. that that controlled the Haven Center. And that's where you had that altercation with the with this with the guy named Ronnie that was in the corner. I don't want it. I don't. I don't want it. And that was standing in the corner, bitch, plotting to beat me <laughs> while I was over the oven taking the spaghetti out of the oven. And I, you were taking the girl, spaghetti out of I was taking the spaghetti out of the oven. I looked back here in the corner. Had you started transitioning yet? Yes. Okay. Yes, I had started transitioning. <laughs> and he was over there. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I didn't want the spaghetti. I don't know what he didn't want, <laughs> but I told him. But I guarantee you, he didn't want none of this. <laughs> All right. That was going to put work in. And he was like 6'4, six, 6'5. Six, oh. I'm only 5'6, five, 5'7. Five, I'm not big as y'all. I'm not as big as the back as y'all hoes really truly think that I am. Right. But bitch, I'm like, he was like 6'4, six, 6' six something. And I don't want it. I don't want it. I was like, girl, I look back <laughs> and he's in the corner, girl. I don't know what mental oh. thing was going through his brain. He was going to. Thrash and bash me and push me over in the oven like the wicked witch. Oh, for sure. <laughs> they talk about cremation. <laughs> they would have found me baked in the oven. How did she get in there, girl? I don't want it. <laughs> like Hansel and Gretel. So anytime I have any conversation about those types of people, <laughs> I always say the 9040 building. Mm. Oh, I thought you were about to say the 9040 club. <laughs> well, that too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm there too. The, the 9040 building, the 9040, whatever. I don't want it. I don't uh, want it. So, I mean, again, Craig, mm -hmm. you have to watch how you say those things because you as Wait, what did I say? The girl, he, he has a big, he, something about some man's ass. Who, Dante the body? Who are we talking about? Somebody you were saying. Keith, Keith Lee. Lee. Keith Lee. And that's what you said. Well, Keith Lee does have a fat ass. And he has meat in the front, too. <laughs> I mean, that's it. You know, he has he, he has a total he has a total wise spirit. He has what he has. That's correct. And we looked. You we get, sure do. You just get, like they look at women. You get on the damn internet and you put on those motherfucking hoochie daddy <laughs> shorts. <laughs> them tight ass shorts. And shit like that. Them tight ass cargo pants clinging all <laughs> to you. Girl, we gonna look. I'm definitely gonna look. I can pull a thing up right now. But, I, look, I can give a damn about them food reviews he doing because I'm not in them cities. No way. I'm looking to see if I can get a moment of you turning around. <laughs> Craig, you objectify that man. That's okay. They do it to women all the time. But does that make it right? It doesn't, but we're balancing it out. <laughs> right now? That's right. The fags are so doing that's right. All right. So basically, a tit for tat? No. Correct. The fags are doing Mo, you sitting over there in the chair right now. You with your ass hanging that's out the back That's what I'm saying, but his ass puckering <laughs> out of the back. Hanging out the back of the chair. And them two small sweatpants. And Craig over there. Small. And Craig over there eat his plants and chips over there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Imagining I'm eating something else. Yeah, don't don't do that. That boy just left the bathroom. Oh no no no. <laughs> no, no, no. Change your thought. Yeah yes for sure. Change your thought. See I don't know if he cleans himself well. He is straight. Oh. Can I have some? I do. Do you want to try those? these? Yeah I do. These are good. Anything come for me? Anything come for me? <laughs> I'm gonna say tell me what you think about them. I can't I can't have uh shitty. I can't be walking around uh feeling mm. shitty. So. How you like them? What they got? What season is it? Girl, that's jerk, bitch. Mm -hmm. You don't like them as she puts her fingers jerk back in them. Yeah, jerk plants and chips. You want to try some? Because I was trying to figure out what the seasoning was. 
Those are good. Those are my favorite. I usually like the sweet, uh, the sweet plantain chips. I want to say thank you to my girl Cheryl. Yeah, more come get them. Why are you being a bitch? They he, want you to walk around here and see what because they, right. they, they want. They want. They want. They want. They want to see your booty. You see. You see. He sure don't like them, but she's still digging in them. It's just the flavor on it. This 